One of the things about a painting is that it stays that way. And you can go back to it. And every time you go back to it, you're different, but it's the same. And, you know, it's a way of getting, pushing yourself around, you know, either, you know, just say formally, academically, spiritually, mystically, whatever you're trying, you know, whatever possibilities seem to be hitting for you at the, at the time you're looking at a painting, or why do you even look at paintings, you know, what's it do for you? But you know that it's always going to be there and it's going to, this is, it's a, it's a stable thing and uh, you aren't. It's that reference, it's much more comfortable to look at it. You know, figure it will work. I mean, people like it, you know, they look at abstractions, I don't understand, you know. Well, you know, of course you don't understand, it. it's complicated. What I've been doing with these paintings is, you know, I got to start, I, I work them and, uh, and they get up to a certain point and then I just go over the whole thing with a wash and, you know, like I just scrape it all, you know, work it with a knife uh, just to keep the paint thin, but then also I work the drawing that's underneath it just to make sure that it's exposed, it, it's coming, it, it's coming through. And sometimes it just bleeds through. I, I think art's a humanist endeavor, you know? I don't think you can go out and find it in the street, you know? It's gotta be made. And then, and then we get to Cezanne, you know, like this whole Cezannean aspect, you know? It's a real hand, it's a real humanist, it's a, you know, real belief in the artist. I mean, there's technical things about this one that worry me that I might, you know, I've done a lot of erasing after a certain point, and so the, there's a glaze build up, and that sort of interferes with the way you read the surface. Now I'm trying to figure out, does it interfere enough to like totally disrupt it so that it's unsuccessful, and, or, you know, and then this all has to do with, you've built up a whole set of rules about, you know, you know, the plane, the paint, the picture, well, you know, the whole, how and how, how, how is this going to operate within all the, that set of rules, or do I ignore the rules? I mean, you know, they have all these rules and, you know, you're not supposed to have any rules. Although now my biggest influences, I would say, are like Asian painting and, you know, calligraphy and stuff, or in thought. Uh, I'm still very Western, I'm a Western trained painter. I, you know, I'm out of the Renaissance.